the change log within the business system. So this change log, let's see if I can get into it here, gives us the capability of tracking the all of the changes that are made within the database, preserving the previous entries. There we go. So here, I'll just illustrate this here. So when we set up um, a change log on a particular record, we can then start to monitor who has changed a particular field in the database. It will also record the original value and the new value that is going into the business system, as well as who did it and when they did it. So a complete audit trail uh, monitoring the activity within the business system. It is activated under this menu, change log, change log setup. I think it takes a second to load. And what happens is when, oh, there we go. When this opens up, we can then, these are all the different tables that I have within the business system. So if I was interested in tracking information, like, let's say credit information on my, uh, on my customer, I could go in and I could say, yes, I would like to see when things were inserted into the database, when things were maybe modified. Maybe I'd say some fields for that customer. And then I would go down and, and I'd look for that, let's try to look for credit. There it is. So I want to see when someone has changed the credit limit on my customer record. And what's going to happen, obviously, is that anytime someone goes in and changes that credit limit, it's going to record who did that change and what the old value was and what the new value was. It's a great functionality. Um, it obviously is an enhancement to the overall security that exists within the business system. So there's lots of different security, but still, in, and it may be in a big company, you do have two or three people that uh, need to have access uh, into these different areas, and you'll put this change log on some of the sensitive areas within the business system, like credit limits. So that was uh, number five, the change log, what it's able to do. What you want to avoid, obviously, is is uh, putting the change log on transactions. So if you decide to activate the change log on your inventory transactions or your labor transactions, it's going to bog down the business system. Uh, it's basically like a trigger into the database. So every time someone does something, there's an extra little step that needs to, needs to write into here. And so to avoid that, I wouldn't recommend putting it on, uh, on every table or at least on the transaction tables. But any, anything on the master tables is great. So items and jobs and customers and vendors, uh, maybe even like some information on the purchase order or sales order or invoice are really good. And if you have tons of volume, you probably want to avoid it. 